Hi, this is Wimble Train. Today, we're going to what we're going to do is um, show you how to put together a uh, single module for the T track. And basically, what we've got here in front of us is the four sides. So there's the back, the front, and the two side pieces, and the top. So basically, when it's finished the track will run like this across there this will be the front of our module and that's the back so the other thing we also have is the four corner pieces which will sit here 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 and here and these these pieces will be up there and then we have our little blocks that will glue on here to support the lid to the sides and that'll make it all pretty solid and strong so what I'm going to do now is we're going to mount the corner blocks onto the front and back pieces. So they're going to mount like this. With a little 6mm on the end so we can put our sides on. Now for this, to make this a bit easier, I've made a little jig here. Basically what I do is put the corner piece in there, it's got a 6mm gap in there, so when I get my front and back pieces I can just put them like so, bit of glue on here. sure that's all flush and you can just use normal hammer and nails but I just happen to have a nail gun which is handy so I'll just put a couple of breads in there and there you have it so that later on when we go and put our side pieces on we can just glue them we get a nice finish so I'll finish doing the rest of those and then we'll move on to the next stage now we've got our <coughs> corner pieces uh, nailed and glued on now we can attach our sides so at the moment that's the back and that's the front and then we'll have our two sides we attach in here and that'll give us the um, frame of our module so I've made another little simple jig with a right angle here and that'll um, just help me hold all this in place while I put it you can just glue it if you like I just uh, nail it as well just so it holds it while the glue dries so put a bit of Put a glue in there, stick it down on the cheek, hold it the size there, might be a bit hard to see. So we just got in there like that. You can just nail that in there. And that gives us our we get it on camera there, our nicely finished corner there you go so yeah, it doesn't have to be uh, super accurate but that, that gets it pretty good a bit of sanding later will make, make that a nice join so I'll just go and uh, finish the other ones and then we'll come back so now we've got our completed frame that's from the top and that's the bottom um, when we get out top on that will sit like that and then our track will sit across here and that'll be our module done the next step is to put our little uh, supporting blocks on the top now the other thing I need to mention is that to check that this frame is square you can do that a couple of different ways if you have a carpenter square like this you can just check it, put it here and check it and 
make sure it looks okay. And the other thing you can do if you don't have a square that big is you can just measure from corner to corner. And the measurement here, which is approximately 430, should be the same as that measurement if it's all square. And this one looks pretty good to me. So the next step, we'll get that out of the way for now. We'll get the top. And uh, again, you guessed it, there's, I have a jig for this, is we need to put these blocks on and we need to have a gap in there from the edge of six millimeters so that then it will just slide into here and then we can just glue that onto the inside of our frame. Simple little jig. Just a couple of, oh and the other thing I forgot to mention is all the material I'm using is 6mm MDF by the way too. So very easy to work with. So basically with this jig, so just run it up against there. I'll put it over here so you can see. And I'll just mark the centre of each face and just put a bit of glue on there, spread it out. Roughly in the middle, doesn't need to be exact. Use the G to make sure it's a correct spacing, and that one's done. I'm just using um, waterproof timber glue. Then we'll, we'll sit that aside and let those dry because we don't want to be messing with them while they're wet. And uh, once that's dry, then we can glue that to here. So this will be the, the bottom, the supporting legs are, and that will round that way. We'll sit over those. Now you could also sit that on there and, and glue that up now if you like. It's up to you. Whatever whatever method you you think is good and then just check that the, the top all lines up pretty evenly all the way around. So once we've glued the, the sides and the top on then we'll end up with this underneath. Something like that. So yeah, once we finish that, do that and then we paint it, or oh, it's all in the um, T track guidelines on what colour paints to use for the side. And then, yeah, you can start doing your landscaping, whatever, whatever scene you want to do, it's up to you. So that's basically it on uh, how to um, create a module for T track. That was a single module. So, um, yeah. That's it, have fun with it and uh, this is Wibble Train signing off for now.